Hi everyone, it's been a while, I hope everyone is okay. So in today's video, I want to show you something quite silly, uh, almost annoying uh, on NetSuite. Uh, it's the uh, ability to show or not show specific fields based on the selection of the customer type. Of course, you could have uh, specific forms for corporations or for individuals, but uh, since we can use workflows for this to go faster because you, you know how long it takes to load a form, uh, we could be building a workflow to say, well, if the type, which is a field called is person on NetSuite, if the type selected, uh, if the customer type selected is company, then let's say I want to hide this customer age field. Uh, I don't need it. I only need to show this if the customer is an individual, for example. And this field is a custom field that uh, I created for the sake of this video. So any field that you want to show that you created and you want to hide in some specific instance is going to be uh, quite uh, useful to the user uh, that they don't have to change the form and based on the choice that you make on the customer record itself is going to show or hide some fields. Now the way to do it is to go to the to workflows. In case you missed on the uh, the NetSuite workflow video that we made, uh, I recommend you to go and have a look first so that you're not lost on this section I'm going to show. Now uh, I'm creating a new action and the action is to set a field display type and this field display type is going to be on field edit so it's not going to be on before record load it's after field edit the field uh, being edited is called is person remember the name of the, the field there on uh, on the customer so it's is person okay and now i'm gonna have to set a condition to say well what is that is person uh, supposed to be checked or not uh, is it going to be company or individual now if i come here and i look for is person yeah i can find it but then there's no real possibility for me to set equal to company or individual when i click on the selection here which is for actually a, a, a field which is uh, supposed to allow this when i click on it it's grayed out there's nothing for me to add here okay so it's either going to be checked or not checked now the funny thing with this is that uh, regardless the is person is always checked either for company or for individual so there is no way for us to differentiate between the two using workflows and that's why i thought well that's quite annoying because then you can't make a specific field for example the customer age uh, really uh, become visible or uh, hidden based on a selection of that uh, customer type, which is quite important on NetSuite really, because that's the basis of what your customer is, a company or an individual. So of course, I'd be happy that NetSuite changes this and that in the workflow, instead of just is person, that could be something called like, for example, is company. Okay, uh, that's not the case. So it's just uh, one field and that field is called is person now how do you get around this is where the money is uh, remember that when it's an, an individual you're going to have a first name so you could say that uh, when the first name is not empty then it means that it's an individual then show whatever fields need to be shown for individuals like the birthday maybe like the whatever uh, insurance number for the person and if it's a company then maybe hide if they it, if there's a company name and there's no first name, then show the company related fields. It's a quite a hefty workaround. Uh, it's quite annoying. But anyway, this is how it is today. I hope you learned something on this video. If so, don't forget to leave a like or subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Thank you and goodbye.